Hi guys, welcome back. Well, I'm at the stage now on the tool uh, cutter grinder where I'm, uh, I need to fit the bearings into the housing. I picked these up on eBay. The there are 25, 25 internal and uh, 47 external. It's, uh, it's the closest bearing I could get off the shelf. Uh, we're right on the internal diameter because uh, this section is 25 so we've no problem with that. The only trouble was that the tubing that I'm using for the main housing there isn't sufficient wall to bore that out for the 47. So on this side I'd already fitted a collar on which will mate up to this section. I've drilled 24 indexing holes with 6mm. Find a, if I can find a screw. Yeah, these these holes are six millimeter, so they'll take a six millimeter bolt through there. And the idea is once once the bearings are mounted into the main body, when these go through and the the collet chuck centralized, I can then transfer two holes, one at the top, one at the bottom with a 6mm thread on and then when I come to uh, rotate the collet chuck uh, it'll be clamped into position uh, by two 6mm uh, allen headed bolts now as you see I've already drilled the, the 24 holes in there I can't drill these two holes until the bearings are in and the uh, collet chuck is centralised. Once that's in, I can put some transfer punches through and I'll only need two, uh, two holes through to this. So, I'm at the stage now where I need to uh, get this bearing fitted. Now I've got it in the I've got it in the four jaw and I'm, I've spent ten minutes trying to centralise it. I've got it about as close as I think I'm going to do, so I'm happy with that. Um, there won't be a great deal of this wall left by the time I've taken the forty-seven millimetres out. Um, so intention is I'm going to. Mount this boring bar on and um, take the majority of it out. This will just go in that boring bar. Take the majority of it out and then I'll finish it up to the 47 with the tool post grinder. Once, once this side's done, I can swap it round. I've got another piece here that's uh, just undersized at the moment and um, this will then go on the other side and then that that'll take that'll take the 47 for the bearing I'm going to tip, tip there's no need for this to be this size I'm going to going to reduce it greatly um, all this piece is doing is holding the bearing inside where this one is acting as a register so that's the job now guys put the boring bar and take some of that section out
Well, the boring bar's working well, guys. I was a little concerned because this tubing that I've used, uh, there's a welded seam on it, and uh, I was a bit worried that the uh, boring bar wouldn't make a decent job on the weld. But um, it seems to be working okay, so I may get away without having to put the grinder on and just go down to the 47 with the boring bar. Got quite a way to go yet.
Thank mm-hmm. you.